Welcome. So I remember when a thousand dollar iPhone seemed crazy, but apparently uh, inflation and, and other things considered not so crazy anymore. My main question is how much room does Apple have to pivot in the quarter and shift production toward the higher end models? Or are they going to remain supply constrained even as demand seems pretty strong? You know, um, I, I, I think there will be a supply constraint that will kind of permeate throughout the quarter for them. So I doubt they're going to be able to resolve it. Given the fact the Pro Max, the very high-end phone, for example, is actually the most successful phones Apple had in the last seven years now. So some fairly remarkable stats on that basis. Uh, the one thing I would say, though, in their defense is I suspect they knew some of this was going to happen, right? So if you look at the way they've staggered the phone launches, the Pro Pro Max is earlier, the Plus, the more sort of average phone that they have, if you remember the 14th, is going to come out next week. So I think they've staggered this enough to ensure they have enough supply. Uh, but it's only so far, it seems that the demand is far outpacing the supply that they have. Now, I mean, if I remember correctly, last year, a holiday season sales suffered somewhat from some stores being closed. And I think particularly the watch might have suffered there. How much might the comps benefit from the upsell opportunities from people who are going in to get a phone but might walk out with more than that? Yeah, you know, this, that, that's a really good point. So not only are we seeing from the work we've done that, you know, folks are gravitating to the, towards the higher end models on the phone, the Pro Pro Max. Uh, what we're also seeing is the attach rates for things like Apple Watch for Apple uh, AirPod Pro is at an all time high. So I, I, I do think this whole ecosystem and the platform narrative will hold up really well. And so far, it seems at least from the initial survey work that the attach rate for these variables is fairly high right now. I mean, uh, we saw some research today suggesting as well that the demand for the Watch Ultra is pretty robust. I just wonder, is do you think of the watch as a, as a method of onboarding into the ecosystem, or do you really have to own the, the phone first? Well, you know, that, that's a great question. But my, my gut is, for the most part, people need to own, own the phone first to get the benefits of the watch in its entirety, right? Uh, the, the, the one area where I think the watch will resonate a lot with folks is, if you have you know, potentially younger kids that you want them to have some way to in, in, uh, interact with or communicate with without giving them all the social media that comes on a phone, uh, Apple Watch becomes a phenomenal solution. So in a way, you might be convincing kids to use the iOS devices a little bit earlier, first by Apple Watch and then over time with other devices they have. Mm. That's interesting as a, as a gateway, perhaps, through the kids. Um, Amit, while we have you, I want to ask you about IBM. I was reading your note. It was interesting. You were talking about potential M&A, um, $20 billion in dry powder, but you think that they could potentially be gearing up for a big deal here? Yeah. Listen, I, IBM has talked about they have a fair bit of liquidity. We say it's $20 billion. If you look at the free cash that they can generate, by the way, uh, over the next three years, it could be $35 billion, $40 billion kind of number, right? So there's a lot of liquidity there. Uh, I suspect the management team has had a lot of success, feels confident, uh, post the Red Hat deal, right, which I think a lot of folks were skeptical about. It's ended up being a fairly successful deal for them. I do think there's a second deal they'll do. Now, the question I think will be, do they do one large deal, which I think would be very logical given the valuation uh, correction you've seen in the software assets over here, or do they do a bunch of smaller deals, right? So the note we had was kind of sizing up the different deals they could do. Uh, I do think the appetite would be to do one larger deal closer to the Red Hat style that they did versus doing a multiple smaller ones. Well, that dollar goes a lot further in the, in the markets these days. Uh, that, that's one area where inflation is not exactly working in the way one might expect. Uh, Amit Darinani from Evercore ISI. Thank you.